Studio Life is shared with my partner Raymond, who is also a painter, in the living room of our little one-bedroom flat in St. John's. <laughs> Mark making is my first language. It, it, you have to put yourself in motion to do it. You have to move your body. You put a mark down and it's there and you have to jump off that first mark. I see myself as a colorist, but it's, it's the, it's, I'm compelled to make the marks and to layer the marks, one on top of the other, to try to shape the feeling. Yeah, I, I was not um, exposed as a child to museums or art, but you know, I was compelled to want to know and see and feel it with my eyes. Read it in that way, you know, like a language. I wanted to be able to tell my secrets to myself, I guess. Not, not too many people were going to listen to me or did listen to me when I was little, so it was a way for me to express it without having to, you know, pull on my mother's apron. I remember poring over any kind of book with illustrations of paintings in them, or any time I'd go uh, to a neighbor's house, I would just absorb myself into any kind of picture they had on the wall. It didn't matter what it was. I wanted to know how that picture was made. You know, I wanted to feel with my eyes the, the lines and the shape. I think the human connection is what I was after. The gesture, you yeah. know, you can, su you can suggest a lot about an attitude or politics of being human with just gesture. And you don't have to necessarily paint a detailed face to get it across. Yeah. I like distilling it and what I learned from the the abstraction when applied to the figure. I could distort it, I could distill it, and it still be convincing as a gesture. And then have, you know, and then balance that with the with a, uh, a color that might contrast what the gesture is saying. I like kind of doing that too. The color is really the vehicle that that carries the emotion. It's vibrational. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can f you can feel it on a vibrational level. It's the part of the painting that I, that you ex that I experience. Yeah, yeah. It's the expression of, of experience remembered, I guess you could say. I'm always yeah. looking for something that I haven't seen or used before in that way, and um, and the figures, you know, even though they're distilled and simplified. They come from uh, building up and breaking down of the painting. You draw it and you rub it out and you draw it and you scrape it off and you draw it and you repaint it and you draw it and you, you restate it. And you do that however many times it takes to, for me to feel the gesture. It's like I'm searching for it. I'm finding the idea, I'm finding where the figure is and what the figure wants to say. That, coupled with balancing the color, balancing the warm and cool color, you're also balancing the contrast of light and dark. Maybe it wants to be settled or maybe it wants to be more defined. I uh, don't really know what that is until it becomes real. I know it when I see it. It resonates with me. It'll, it'll make me have a feeling of well-being. It'll either hit me in my solar plexus and surprise me, or it'll make me feel right. I could be feeling a certain way and push myself through the feeling, like if I'm feeling upset or I'm feeling anxious, painting while the, the insurrection was happening on January 6th. That was crazy. I painted this painting here, the uh, Blue Morning. At one point, underneath this painting, I think it started out with a gold background and a red figure crouching in a crouching defensive position. 
and I had to push through that and at one point the figure was suddenly blue but it was uh, actually flying apart I had some disembodied arms and <laughs> I'm like had to had to really get myself together on that because I was kind of um, feeling that way I was feeling like I was out of control because what we were listening to on the news and ask myself the questions what is it that I need and I needed I needed solitude I needed quiet safety inside of myself so I kept pushing the color I kept pushing the brush I kept pushing the shapes until I came to this blue upon blue upon blue upon blue painting I mean there's lots of color underneath it but what really is interesting about this painting is you know how I had to push through when it when it starts to look pretty ugly I know I'm onto something good but um, that on a spiritual level that I'm gonna be surprised by and I was very surprised by this painting because when it was finished I knew it And the title helps it along, it's like a jumping off point, but um, I think maybe, you know, a lot of my, especially the way I go after color, um, has a connection to sense memory for me, and I would hope that when the viewer looks at it, it would connect them to a sense memory for them. If a painting works, then it does hit you viscerally, kind of hits you on the emotional level. There's a feeling of um, well-being, I guess, that comes over me whenever I'm finished with a painting, and it's right, and it works. And then you go move on to the next painting. <laughs> yeah.